Live performances and young smiles filled the air at the South Florida Mini Fair. The fair only has children's rides and fair food vendors, and while this might not be ideal for regular fairgoers, one vendor is grateful that the fair is finally up and running. I've been doing it 36 years. I love what I do. The virus has kind of slowed us down, but we're here now to let people smile and be out here and have a good time. The fair worker continues explaining how long he's been out of work and how hard it has been on his family. Uh, it's only 14 months so far. Pretty tough, but you know, luckily we've been in the business a long time, so we're always kind of, you're not always prepared, but we just look to the best now. If people wear their masks and be safe and get out here and try to have a good time. Parents who attended the fair are glad that their kids have something they can enjoy this year. Well, very happy, actually. It's a good thing to let the kids get out of the house more. Be around other people, see other people instead of, you know, virtual or online. It's pretty much the same routine. You still got to drive kind of far, depending on where you stay. It's still the same except you got to wear the mask. So I'll try to match. A full-fledged traditional fair is scheduled for May 7th through May 23rd. Fair organizers say that everyone who buys a mini fair ticket online will be granted one free admission to the fair in May. Luckily, you can still enjoy fair foods like funnel cakes as long as you follow the COVID-19 safety protocols. Live at the South Florida Fair, I'm Adriana Alexander.